Good morning, guys. Welcome back, man. Uh, I get excited uh, every day when I get to uh, do my grips with you guys and uh, hope you're enjoying it like I'm enjoying it. So let's jump in today. My title, God wants us to have joy and to teach our children. Uh, my G today is Deuteronomy 12, verses 12, 18, and 28. Here we go, guys. Hold on. Verse 12. And they, and they are rejoice before the Lord your God, you, your sons and your daughters, your men servants and your maid servants and the Levites from your towns who have no allotment or inheritance of their own. Verse 18. Instead, you are to eat them in the presence of the Lord, your God, at the place the Lord your God will choose. You, your sons, daughters, your men servant, your maid servants, and the Levites from your towns, and you are to rejoice before the the Lord your God in everything you put your hand to. And twenty eight, be careful to obey all these regulations I'm giving you so that it may always go well with you and your children after you because you will be doing what is good and right in the eyes of the Lord your God. Amen, brother. Some great verses right here. Let's go. My reveal. In these three verses, it is uh, clear that God is the provider of joy. In verses 12 and 18, he tells the Israelites to rejoice. And that means he expects us to have joy through him and to rejoice just like the Israelites did. To get to these types of joy, we have to have God in our life. And we have to do what God asks us to do. The special condition of these uh, three verses is to rejoice with the Lord and here's the key, guys. Also, it means I got to rejoice with the Lord. Me, you, your sons, your daughters, your men servants, your maid servants, and the Levites. Take care of all the staff people in ministries that you're around and go in today. This means as men, God expects us to lead our families, guys, in going to church, reading His Word, rejoicing with the God, praying, living it out, walking it out. Wow. It's a lot of stuff he's asking us to do. He gives us a great promise with this in verse 28, guys. And uh, back up a little bit to verse 18 for a second. He tells us, in everything you put your hand to, be doing this. And now let's look at that promise again. It's promise in 28. Be careful to obey all these regulations so that it may always go well with you and your children. We'll be blessed. If we do all of this, we'll get blessings, guys, because you will be doing what is good and right and in the eyes of the Lord your God. Again, he'll bless us, guys. My implementation. I need and I must find joy in the Lord, worshiping him always, leading my family to worship him also and my fellow brothers and sisters. This must be done in everything I do, teaching my children to do this also. Let's pray, guys. Lord, help us to do things that always go well with you. Your words, not mine. And just uh, lead and guide us, Lord, in a way that pleases you, and just help us to teach our families, all those people around us, walking it out every, out every day in a way that has people say, I don't know what he's got, but that dude's got joy. And then we get to tell them about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And, and that's what we want to do. Again, lead and guide us there, and just take care of us, Lord. For it's in Christ's name I pray. Amen. Okay, guys, where are you on these passages today? Are you leading your families in godly ways or other ways? Take an inventory. If it looks good, keep on going, guys. Keep rolling along. If it needs improving, start today. There's no reason to wait any longer. And uh, one way of starting is getting in the grip, man. Just grip the Word every day. It's a great way to study and um, learn uh, deeply what God expects for us to do through His Word. And you need to do this, as he said, quickly. So get it going and get your family in the Bible with you there. And uh, it's just a great thing to do. Let me pray us out. Heavenly Father, once again, thank you for the guys 
uh, on this looking in on this video. Thank you for their families. Just help them to lead their families in a godly way. And by, by godly, we mean we got to be in your word, God. The only way we can know about you is read your word, understand it, and apply it to everyday lives. And we just ask you to lead and guide us to do that. For it's in Christ's name I pray. Amen. Okay, guys, see you tomorrow.